Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and today I wanted to share with you everything that I got for Christmas and my birthday. Since my birthday is on the 21st of December, it kind of gets absorbed into Christmas. But before we begin, I wanted to say a really big thank you to everyone who wished me well after my surgery. I don't want to get into details about it, but I am recovering and I'm feeling better, but it's going to take about a month for me to recuperate. Don't worry, you will still get videos on Thursdays, but be patient with me for extra or bonus videos. All right, so let's start with all the presents. I got so many this year, and all of these are from family members, except for the last bit, which are some clothing items. I'm going to start off with the one that when I got, I don't know why, just bear with me here. As soon as I saw that I got it, I kind of teared up because I really wanted him, and it was so hard to find. So I got a Figma King Kazma. I really wanted this guy. He is a badass bunny. And no matter what pose you put him in, he looks like he's going to be kicking butt. In case you guys were wondering, he is from the movie Summer Wars. So I really love this guy. He is super poseable and I think he's going to interact really well with all my Ninja Turtles. Next I got a Figart Sun Goku. And this is also a really cool figurine. You guys know that I'm a huge collector of toys. I don't really mind the boxes because I always take them out and I do toy photography. And I have a pretty bad obsession with Dragon Ball. Next I got this Pac-Man lamp that glows all sorts of different colors. And I absolutely love this. This is going into my craft room slash collection toy room. And I will show you guys a tour of that once I finally decide to clean it up. What I really love about this is that it comes with a remote with all the different colors that you can change it and it could do a fade, a strobe, you name it, it's pretty geeky. And this is what it looks like when it's not lit up. While editing, I've been pretty much complaining how slow my computer is and that the video is pretty laggy. And my brother got me a video card that he promised to install pretty soon. So I'm super excited to see how this is going to change the performance of my computer so that I can edit more easily. Next, I have a set of Prismacolor Premiere, and this one here comes with 12 very thin, 12 watercolor, and 48 soft core pencils. I am really excited because I want to get back into drawing. I used to draw a lot when I was younger, but I kind of stopped, and I want to get back into it, and these color like a dream. This is what the set has. Once I get better, let me know if you guys want to see some drawing tutorials. Another thing I am super excited about, again, about drawing, are these set of Copic markers. I have 40 different colors in here, and I'm pretty sure my collection is going to grow. I've never really used them, but I've seen so many videos, especially those from Bailey, and I am super excited to use them, the color, and I just can't wait. I am super excited. I know I keep saying I'm super excited, but I really do want to get back into drawing and coloring. If you want to see my updates on my drawings, make sure that you are on my Instagram, Nerdy Crafter. I can't wait to use these. There are so many different variations of each color, and I have quite an array of different skin tones, blues, purples, greens, oranges, yellows. This is going to make some pretty vibrant pictures. Moving along with drawing, I also got this How to Draw Manga book, and the pictures in there are really neat. I can't wait to see what I can learn from this book. I already got a couple of books, and these ones had so much information, and they're so helpful. And I just love reading tips from artists that have experiences. So this is a really neat book, and I can't wait to skim through the whole thing. I just kind of looked at it very quickly, and I just did a little bit of a glance. But as you can see, there's some pretty good tips in here. What's Christmas without Ninja Turtles? I got a Ninja Turtle visual history book and I can't say enough about this. It is just such an amazing book, and if you look on the inside, there are also inserts. The pictures are full color, they're glossy, and I just love that there are little posters on the inside of each one. And of course, you can remove the posters if you want, but I'm going to keep them as they are. And what I really love about this book is I wanted to kind of get inspired by drawing Ninja Turtles and coloring them, and I think having a visual history book, because I have the one from Avatar, that this one is just going to be such an awesome inspiration. And as you can see, there are the different generations of the, of the turtles. You guys might think I'm a little silly, but every Christmas I ask for socks. I don't know how, but I'm always <laughs> losing my socks. So when I get new pairs of socks, I am super happy, and I know people are like, oh, I hate socks. I love socks. I tell you guys, I don't know how they all disappear. I don't know how, but they do. Let me move the camera a little further. 
The last thing I want to show you guys are a bunch of clothes that I got from YesStyle.com. Now these weren't a gift from my family members, but I got these from YesStyle. They have the cutest clothes in the universe. And not just are they cute, but the quality is really good and I wear them to school all the time. Let me show off what I got. So the first thing I got is this super cute giraffe sweater. It is so soft. It actually is as soft as it looks. So there's this cute little giraffe sweater and I love the yellow on this. And it's just so soft. Just think of the softest material and this is what this giraffe sound, sounds like. <laughs> this is what this giraffe feels like. Next is this hoodie and I absolutely love the detail on the inside, but wait until you see what the picture is. So the middle is I heart cats and you have three cute little cats right in front of the pocket. And the sleeve is a blue and the other side is a polka dot pink. And this is just such an absolutely cute sweater and I've gotten so many compliments on it. By the way, if you guys want to see me do a lookbook on all of these things, just as I had done for the back to school ones, let me know. I will be more than happy to do one probably next month because I'm not fully healed from my surgery yet. So I can't really wear anything except for pajama shirts. Next is another absolutely gorgeous hoodie and the detail on this one also inside is absolutely amazing. And you can see this one is very wintry. So I love this one and I can't wait to wear it. And the good thing about this one is that it is a zip sweater. When I saw the pom-poms on here, I was pretty hooked. I was like, I needed this sweater, so I got it. The detail, again, if you look on the sleeve, it is just such an absolutely gorgeous sweater. And of course, if there are pockets, all the better. Because for some reason, girl clothing doesn't always include pockets. We definitely need pockets. Next one again, absolutely gorgeous detail on the inside of the hoodie. And you guys know I'm obsessed with cats, so this one is another cat one. This is another zip up, and the whole bottom part of the sweater is a cat face, but wait for it. The cool part is in the back. The back part of this has a cat tail and a little bow in the back. How cute is that? I really do seem obsessed with cats, don't I? Here's the next sweater, also a hoodie, and I absolutely love the sleeves, which are not fully long, so this is good for kind of like a light winter. And you have little paws and a cute little cat face. So these sweaters are just so cute. I saw this one and it comes in a dark blue as well as the beige and I fell in love with the beige one. So if you like darker colors, you can go ahead and check out the darker blue one. I have so many other things that I want to show you. But if you're interested, let me know if you want me to do a lookbook. I would gladly put these on and show you guys how absolutely cute they look. If you're interested to get your own, the website is yesstyle.com and I think they have a sale from the 28th of December until January 10 for about 80% off. So it's an annual sale that they have. So this is a really good time to get some pretty good bargains. And if you're a new customer, you get another 10% off. So it's a good time to get stuff. All right guys, so that is everything that I got. I got so many things and I am so happy and I feel so blessed. Which one was your favorite item? And thank you everyone again for all the well wishes. I am recovering and I'm feeling so much better and just your encouragement makes me feel so loved. Next Thursday is going to be a mega resin charm update. I'm not ready to craft just yet because as I said, I am still recovering. I should be ready to be 100% back as of January. So wait for some really awesome tutorials. Much love, I will see you guys next time.